So next, I seated the neck and I strung the guitar with a low E and high E string. And I did this because, because I was replacing not only the bridge, but also the neck. And I wanted to make sure that the neck, the body, and the bridge were in alignment. And it's really easy to tell. When you look down, once you've strung those two strings, you could do this with just like twine or something like that. But I've actually found that in my opinion is, you know, just putting regular guitar strings on, tightening them just enough to where they're taut and the neck stays in place, shows you exactly where the strings are are going to be on the fretboard and how far from the edge and it allows you then to make adjustments to the neck before you're drilling and before you tighten things down. After I was satisfied that the strings were aligned I drilled the four holes and I installed the neck plate and four screws. Since I was replacing both the neck and the bridge but I needed to do a full setup. After measuring neck relief I found it was within specifications 